huge new updates are coming to Prodigy in the month of August this year. Yes, you heard we are huge new updates are coming, and these updates include new color palettes, fonts, and more stuff. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so let me just hop over to Prodigy's blog forum. Right, guys, so I've just hopped onto Prodigy's blog forum over here. And if you scroll down, what you guys see is, well, over here it says Prodigy is changing its style. So basically, Prodigy is going to be changing its color palette to a brighter look. Because multiple researchers have shown that brighter colors attract children and keep them well on the game. So that is a good idea. I mean, I also do like the brighter colors. They stand out and contrast well. So if you look up here, it says a familiar face might look a little different, okay? So we all know that in Crystal Cavern's live stream, which Prodigy did, um, they said that the Prodigy monster was getting a new makeover and he was going to grow older and he was getting a new haircut. So could they be giving a reference to the Prodigy monster? I mean, could they change its color? Well, we don't know. And the second thing is, well, Prodigy has made its own font. The font is called Prodigy Sans. And I just did a little bit of searching and I found out what the font looks like, okay? So this is what the font looks like. It's the same across multiple websites, okay? I have checked multiple websites and so this is not wrong. There are 10 different versions of this. I don't know why they decided to make so many bold versions. But yeah, apparently they did. I'm probably only going to use the top one. But yeah, I like this website because we can download it from here and we can change its name to One Doctor Genius or Prodigy. And yeah, so if you look at this, it looks pretty nice. So this is what Prodigy used to make their lo logo, obviously. And yeah, I like this font. It looks good. So let's head back to the blog post. Okay, so we all have known that Prodigy has been a 2D game since its start in 2011. Well, they're changing that after 9 years. Prodigy is adding another dimension to their game, and now it is going to become 3D. Yes, you guys heard me right. Prodigy is going to become 3D, so it's going to look more like Pokemon. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I'm kind of, I'm super excited to see what this will look like, okay? And I'm also excited to see what they'll do in Summerfest. Maybe they'll test out some of these things in Summerfest. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. So the game's going 3D and okay, it looks like that they're going to be changing the logo and the name of the game. It says over here that they're thinking of changing the logo, but they can't tell us information. And if I head to their website support ticket counter, it says that their objective mission is that they might be taking a change to their name. I don't want them to change their name. The name Prodigy Map Game is is amazing okay so guys i was just reading a bit down and what i found is this prodigy game and there's an arrow to prodigy education that's interesting are they saying that they'll change their game name from prodigy game to prodigy education because that's going to be much better than hall of heroes okay so this might be good okay prodigy education okay let's just scroll down and see what's next learning is a lifelong adventure and we're excited to turn the page of our new chapter that's why they're changing their name okay so maybe they're changing it from prodigy maths to prodigy education to show that the game is based on more maths along with along with trying to get schools to join so they get more players but there's one c question because we all know that some of us might play prodigy on chromebooks and some of these Chromebooks do have processing power issues, right? They can play games. Chromebooks used to be able to play games. I used to be able to play Tanky Online with my Chromebook, but then it stopped, okay? Sometimes Prodigy crashes my Chromebook, okay? But yeah, I am a little worried that um, Prodigy having 3D graphics might cause some computer lag and heavy CPU usage. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but other than that, everything is cool. Um, I'm fine with the ch game change. I'm fine with the game changing their name if it's a Prodigy Education, because this completely makes sense, okay? And yeah, so how I learned about this is, well, there was a video uploaded by Prodigy on their main channel, Prodigy Math the Game, and from that I learned that they're going to be launching a huge new update in August. So let me just quickly play the video.
Okay guys, so these are some of the updates which are going to be sneaking their way into Prodigy and you're going to find them somewhere around August 2020. And guys, if Prodigy updates this forum or tells us any more information on this, I will be sure to publish a video on it and keep you guys updated with your Prodigy news. And if you guys did find this video useful, I'd really appreciate a sub and a thumbs up. And share it with your friends so they also know what's coming up in the video and I'll catch you all next time. One Dr. Genius out. Bye, have a good time. Also, leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I will be sure to answer.